Hello my crazies, right today I'm on a different camera so that's why you can see boxes on the top of my wardrobe and yes they do contain more yarn but that's that's a stash for another day that's something I'll talk about then not today all right I've made a ginormous boo-boo you know my rug that I made that I've been making or whatever it's going to be oh yesterday I was struggling a bit and I'm thinking cracky this is hurting my hands I'll put it down I'll come back to it tomorrow and I've managed to get through the second ball of yarn by this point today I've got on and I'm like this really doesn't feel right this this hooks just not working as well as the first hook uh, like the hook did the day before you up for your giggle that was my first hook you remember I was saying it was uh, a 10 millimeter this is the issue with buying cheap from China that was a hook I was using yesterday oh come on in break us in I jumped from my 10 to my 6 because I hadn't bothered checking the hook size what a bend back so I'm now frogging back that entire ball um, that's as far as I've got so far I just hope that I can recrochet re it before the cat finds it if not there is going to be some wicked pictures put on in a bit so I just thought I'd jump on tell you that give you a bit of a giggle um, and show you it's not too awkward even crocheting it with a six millimeter to have it undone if it does get a bit iffy it's just a case of giving it a bit of a wiggle so it's not a bad section of review is it right i will speak to you all later okay i've nearly finished rocking it back um i've got that much left I can't seem to find my stitch when I get going so it looks like I am challenging the cat not to sit oh not to sit on my yarn pile and I really hope that I can get this done before the end of this evening um, I'll see you all later keep everything cross for me thing I can say about this yarn is I've just ripped back the three balls that I'd used or nearly three balls and that is it for the amount of fluff that's come out that is it so I've had no eyelashes come off and just that and I think that was really from me taking off a bit of the feathering as I'm going where I was ripping out the last section like that section that was really really tight <laughs> right um, as I said I'm getting back to it I'll see you all later finally I'm back with you I've been going about two hours on this now um I ended up frogging it all the way back right to the beginning so I had a mountain of yarn stacked on the bed by the side of me um I'll pop a picture in here So here we go. This is what it's ended up being. Now I've still got a bit of yarn. So I am going to play chicken and hope I can get another row out of it before I actually do um, the measurements. And I'll give you the full measurement then of how much, how big I managed to get three balls using a uh, 10 millimeter. Right, I'll be back with you in a moment. Wish me luck. I need it. I thought I'd let you watch along and you egg it on with whether you want it to work or not. So I'm on nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's all about feeling the um, the next space rather than seeing it. Uh -huh. 
now you can have to look at it from reverse but literally find the gap and stab the thing oh i've forgotten what number i was on give me a minute i'm recording to find uh rewinding to find out no i kept going while i was talking and i can't work out how many i managed to do frog it back a go but i suppose on good point at least I put a stitch marker, left a stitch marker in the turning chain and actually in the stitch so that if I did have to frog it back because it wasn't going to be enough I didn't have to frog it right back to the beginning please work, please work yes, brilliant All right. I'll see you when I get a bit closer to the end I can't talk on crochet brain's just not working like that today must be the sun See you in a minute. Right, I'm on 21. Don't ask, I've not looked. 22. 23. 24. It's meant to be 30. I've done this one twice because I got interrupted. I can't leave the corner off okay so I'm gonna strip this one back again thankfully the mark is in there somewhere <laughs> and um, I'll do a final measurement on the three balls I will speak to you in a bit right I'm back with you now I've had to find a really strange sewing needle so I've used the one of the uh, centro yeah the good thing about it is that when you um tie in your ends and you weave them in and stuff you haven't got to really worry about cutting the end and making it look all neat and tidy because you can't find it <laughs> i'll show you what i mean in a second it's brilliant oh yeah so um because I'd, I'd sort of started doing it but i hadn't pulled it all the way through on one end luckily so so there was a bit of a loop that i managed to find but once it's done there is going to be no way i'm going to be able to find this end so i think as a plus that is a mega plus because i hate sewing i hate sewing in ends i think we all do secretly any of us that say otherwise are fibbers or more crazy than me go through there we go so yeah the end is around here somewhere i've lost it so so it was um as a ball to use oh i found it yeah as as a wall um yarn to use it is super fluffy really quite once it's worked up it's really got some weight behind it as well um and don't put it on your legs when it's sunny outside because it's like a thermal blanket so um, I think really this would be ideal if you live in really colder parts or out in the middle of nowhere and you're, you're heating or whatever mucks up make yourself a blanket out of this stuff um, or, or even a jumper or something or a jacket and it's quite bre it feels quite airy breathy but it is so thick and chunky and that was just worked up in basic stitch with a chain at the end just to turn right i'm gonna go and measure it Let's see what it ended up coming in at see you in a second right so i didn't do too bad at the guesstimation earlier on it has actually come in at 15 and 15 by 19 and a half so that was just down to my second starting chain being a bit tighter i think than the first time um I'm going to give it a test in a bit under my bottom to see if it helps my bum not stick to the leather chair. <laughs> um, but I have a feeling it's probably going to help me burn some fat away with sweat rather than anything else. So for me, it might be a case that my cat's got herself a new bed. But knowing her, she'll end up pushing the dog onto it and nicking his bed like she normally does. Right, so 
um, out of the two balls oh, feels like a lot more now but that's pretty much all I've got left now I haven't bothered weighing it or anything but what I do plan to do is keep hold of it it's not going to go in the bin it'll either be my daughter will use it for an art project or I might end up using it for eyelashes on the next um, big unicorn -y type project like a big cushion or something I'll find some use for it right so I will see you all later I hope this made you giggle do well for now stay and stay safe